unlock the power of the Drazir and claim one of the most elusive secrets in all of Remnant 2. My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming, and today we're sharing everything you need to know about a powerful new archetype, including where to unlock it. This is The Engineer. Word on the street was there were seven archetypes, then there were eight. Well, friends, now there are nine, and we're still counting, but trust me when I say you want to stop what you're doing and hunt this down. Unlocking this class is rather simple, if you know where to look. No amount of data mining can help you when it comes to discovering the biggest secrets the game has to offer, and lucky for you, we were on the hunt. To unlock the Engineer archetype, you first need to reach the second overworld in a Nerud playthrough, that is, the second outdoor tile set in the world. For us, that was Eon's Vault, but we know for a fact that this secret spawns on the second overworld no matter what. The only way we could find this secret was thanks to the level 10 explorer skill, Treasure Hunter. We'll have another video talking about that archetype coming out real soon, so keep your eyes peeled on the channel. Treasure Hunter allowed Livid to see into the poison fog that surrounded the map, and thus, a secret was found. You'll notice that without Treasure Hunter, finding this would be nearly impossible. Nearly. Inside the fog is a dead engineer, and if you're brave enough to take the plunge, you can move through the poison fog and claim the first reward, the Technician Armor Set. This does take some precise timing, so listen carefully. After moving through the poison, you'll puke. You will have a brief moment right after, and that's when you run and jump across the ledge in front of you to a new landing. Pick up your Technician Armor Set, but don't bask in its epic glory too long, there's still more to do. Drop down off the ledge you're currently standing on to a small basin below, and there, buried in the dirt, is the real prize, the alien device. It's moments like this that make me really appreciate how incredible games like Remnant 2 are, because it's a payoff to a secret hardly anyone knows about, and that's just a damn cool feeling. However, we can't stop here. We need to head back to Ward 13 and make our way to Wallace, because he's the key to turning that alien device into something a lot more powerful, the Drazir Caliper. Take a second, equip your new item, and baby, you've got yourself an engineer. This class is absolutely nuts, and while we don't have it fully leveled up quite yet, believe me, we're working on it. It was more important we show you how to unlock the class and give you a brief overview of all of its capabilities so that together we can test out its awesome potential. That being said, let's quickly dive into what we know about the archetype. We'll start with the skills since they make up the foundation of the class. First is Heavy Weapon Vulcan. When pressed, you deploy a cannon turret, which automatically fires at nearby enemies. You can also prioritize the target, just like you could the dog on the handler. The turret does have ammo, and you can see how much is in reserve, thanks to a handy bar above the skills icon. Here's the cool part. When you hold the ability button, you deploy the turret in carry mode, allowing you to move it around the battlefield and fire it as you see fit. You are still limited by its ammunition, so keep that in mind. By double pressing the skill, it'll recall the turret, returning most of its remaining ammunition. While stored, the turret will automatically regenerate ammo, but there are a few cool nuances that can speed that process along. We'll get there, I promise. The second skill is Heavy Weapon Flamethrower, and it functions in much the same way as the Vulcan Cannon. When pressed, you place a flamethrower turret on the ground. Instead of lasers, you get flaming grenades, which isn't a bad trade-off if you think about it. Also, you can build around status damage, so think about that for a second. Again, by long pressing the skill, you can carry the flamethrower turret into combat. Double pressing the skill will recall the turret, returning most of its remaining ammo. Again, when not deployed, the flamethrower will regenerate ammo until it's fully recharged. The final skill is Heavy Weapon Impact Cannon. Think of this like an alien railgun, and you'll be pretty close to spot on. This thing penetrates all targets, making it an absolute beast when it comes to taking down multiple enemies, so long as they're lined up. It also does a small AoE around the turret itself whenever it fires, slightly mirroring the Tremor mod power. You know the deal by now. When you hold the skill, you activate it in carry mode, and when you double press, you recall the cannon returning most of its remaining ammunition. One thing I absolutely need to know, and I know this for a fact, when your turret is deployed, it counts as a summon. So, considering what we already know about the awesome summoner class we revealed on the channel, you can see how the pieces could come together to create one hell of a cyborg Yation summoner. Think about the build potential. The Engineer's prime perk, High Tech, takes all of those skills to the next insane level. When deployed in either turret or carry mode, you can hold your skill button once again to activate Overclock. 
When overclocked, your heavy weapons are granted infinite ammo, increased fire rate, and a massive damage buff starting at 15 seconds, but as you level up, this duration gets longer. The kicker? The cooldown is less than a minute, so you can activate this in almost any serious fight, which is absolutely nuts. As expected, the perks keep us chugging right along and further enhance the engineer. The damage perk Metal Worker increases skill damage while also increasing the ammo capacity and max health of your heavy weapons. The team perk Magnetic Field is the ultimate defensive buff, increasing damage resistance by a significant amount for all allies near the engineer or its turrets. The utility perk Heavy Mobility increases the engineer's movement speed while carrying a heavy weapon. Finally, for a relic perk, we have Surplus. When the engineer uses a relic, it refills a portion of the heavy weapon ammo reserves, and if the heavy weapon is currently stowed, that is, not deployed or being carried, that effect is doubled. There's also the engineer's passive trait Fortify, which just further proves the class is built to withstand anything in the game. Fortify increases a player's armor effectiveness, starting at 5% at level 1 and increasing to 50% at level 10. That means if a piece of armor has a defensive value of 10 and this trait is level 10, that piece of armor now has a value of 15. Factor in all four pieces of defensive gear and this is easily one of, if not the best defensive trait in the game. You've pretty much got the gist of the class, but we have to take this one final step further. When you unlock a new archetype, you can create a new character and automatically assign any unlocked class, which in this case means the engineer. With that, you also get the starting weapons, and what starting weapons they are. For the long gun, the engineer's standard issue weapon is the Pulse Rifle, a wickedly accurate three-shot burst gun that deals moderate damage, has a magazine of 30 rounds, and a weapon I could easily see becoming a favorite of a lot of players. It's traditional in application, but still feels incredibly unique and Nerudian, which I think a lot of people are going to like. For the handgun, you have the Rupture Cannon, and this is another cool weapon. Think pistol shotgun, and you've kind of got a sense for what it brings to the table. It's a more focused spread, but still has enough splay that you could potentially hit multiple targets or rip one big hole in a singular one. Finally, there's the melee weapon, the Atom Smasher. This is actually a reward you can find after completing the Nerud train event in Terminus Station, but if you create a new engineer, you get it standard. When you use a charge attack with this weapon, it increases the speed of all melee attacks by 10% for five seconds afterwards. In the grand scheme of melee weapons, this thing is solid. Friends, we hope you're as excited as we are to unlock the new Engineer class in Remnant 2. You couldn't believe how hard this was to find, so if you appreciate all the work that goes into finding all of these secrets the legit way, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up, and consider subscribing. It means a lot and goes a long way to helping out the channel. Of course, with so many secrets out there to discover, we want to know, what are you most excited to check out in Remnant 2? If there's a video or topic you want to know more about, let us know in the comments and we'll add it to the list. You could also join us on Discord if you want to hang out with our team, talk about great games, and enter for your chance to win tons of free prizes. That link, of course, is below. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.